Hey everyone, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. I recently covered Marvis Pro in show 1285, which is my new go-to music application on iOS and iPadOS. Because of the level of granularity I can go into when I'm setting it up, it's just the most detailed app that I've seen for this. And whilst there's a bit of a learning curve and it's not too much to pick up, once you're there, you can work some real magic with it. Now, in that previous show, I covered the basics of how to get it set up, but I didn't get to cover two important elements. Now, the first one is widgets. And Marvis has some very customizable widgets, as you'd expect. And the second is syncing between devices. Now, there's no iCloud sync baked into Marvis, which I was disappointed with because I thought I'd then have to manually recreate my setup between iPad and iPhone. But that is not the case. There's a very quick way to keep your devices in sync. And I'm going to show you that at the end of the video. Now, first, let's look at widgets. So I'm going to go into Marvis first just to quickly show you what I've got here. And the setup is almost the same as when I finished the last video. I've got my Apple Music library as is in the sidebar on the left. And in my home tab, I've got several sections in here. So we've got the most played songs at the top. We've got recently added items in my library next. Then there's a section folder for my just played content. We've got a section folder for my top artists and a newer one down here, which is a list of albums from my discovery playlist. And that playlist is down here. And I'm trying to get into a workflow whereby when I find a song that I like from a playlist that I listen to, I want to listen to that whole album and see if it's something that's worth investigating more. So they go into my discovery playlist. I can then move them to a different, more permanent one if I like them, or just delete it if it's not something that I want to pursue. Okay, let's come back up to the home tab and just look at how this discovery album section is comprised because I've added this to my home tab for a specific reason. And that's so that I can add it as a widget on my home screen. Now, if I tap these dots here, come into smart rules, you can see that the only filter in there is that items in this particular section must come from the discovery playlist. Very simple. Okay, let's tap away and come to the home screen now, where to add a widget, of course, I'm gonna long press anywhere here and tap the plus button in the top left hand corner. Now I could scroll down on the left, of course, to bring up Marvis or alternatively, you can tap on search widgets and then just search for the one that you want. And there it is, I'll tap. Now we've got eight widgets in total. The first four will all show the now playing track. And of course we've got four different sizes for those. And then we have the more configurable ones that will allow us to target a different section within your Marvis setup. And targeting the sections that you have in your home tab is great. So I'm going to go for this large one here and tap add widget and then tap to stop the jiggling. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit screencastsonline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member.